engineers do it before we start today's video i would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel how engineers do it to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update hello friends this is mohammed shakil here from how engineers do it and in this video i'm going to show you how you can design a luminous interstellar model in katia v5 what you see here is the model in the katia environment I'm just going to show you a few renders. So these are the dif different uh, renders. And without further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. All right, so let's begin with the model. So let's go to the file, new, and select the part, and rename it as Luminous Interstellar design model all right now let's start by creating a sketch on the top plane so we got to create two pentagons so this pentagon need to be inscribed in the circle so I'm just gonna use the polygon tool Right now, use the low symmetry line and here and give fifty, fifty here, fifty here, fifty. And the last part is uh, automatically made as 50. Let's just drag this dimension loudwards. Okay, now we'll create another circle a little loudwards and we'll create a line downwards. Just make sure that this particular line is vertical. So we can see here a uh, symbol V, which means it's vertical. I've just created a line here, and this is just for the reference. So I'll just uh, create a dimension as reference, 80.902. And you can see that this is uh, over constrained. So we got to probably delete one of these dimensions so that it uh, turns back to the normal green color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, Create and again repeat the step. Okay, make sure that all of these lines are falling on the circle, and you gotta take this dimension here 80.902 or just uh, type it in manually. So before doing that, I'll just make sure that this is okay. This is anyways, uh, it's vertical. You can see a view over here. So just type in 80.902. So I'll just take that dimension there and I'm just going to repeat it everywhere else. So now we have two pentagons and we'll just exit the sketch and we'll come to this. We'll just rotate the screen so that we'll get the line in this fashion and select this plane over here and click on the sketch. And what we'll do is we'll select these two points here and go for project and go for construction and draw two lines here just make sure that this is vertical and go for normal to the plane and select this line here and give 50 over here 
and click on exit sketch and what you gotta do is you gotta select create a plane so through two lines select like this line here and this line and click on the plane and just select that plane there click on the sketch and what you gotta do is you gotta create a circle there just make sure that circle is coinciding with this point and this point and just I think that's not enough uh, I think that's sufficient I believe yeah it's sufficient just take this point and uh, make it uh, remove this uh, construction element and hide this circle here and exit the sketch now we have the point here right and select go for the create line and go for point and direction and just select that point and go for the direction as this newly created plane and go for infinite line click on ok and again create another line and use point and direction point as the uh, origin and the direction as uh, the y component not the z component click on ok and now you gotta use the intersect just intersect these two lines and click on ok and we have an intersected point there just hide these uh, remaining stuff and just what you gotta do is you gotta create a circle so using this point just create a circle and take this as coincidence first and take this point it's coincidence as well and you gotta make sure that this point and this point are coinciding or what you can do is you can remove this and what you can do is just pull this a little here and click on this point and this point and go for coincidence and if you see here you'll be able to see that that point and the point we created is at the same place so and create an axis here and uh, just trim the remaining portions All right exit the sketch what you can do is you can use a revolve command and revolve with respect to the z-axis 180 180 each and that will complete the first part of our tutorial see you in the next video